14. Hi, y'all. Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today I'm going to work on a journal page dedicated to St. Valentine's Day. This is a, I'm using two different colors of wash, acrylic paint wash, you know, the leftover sludge in the bottom of your craft paint bottle that you really can't get out and you really don't want to throw it away. So you put some water in there. I personally add a little bit of matte medium and there you go. Now you have a wash. So I use two different colors and they're pretty wet. This is a regular plain old cardstock and I uh, laid one sheet on top of the other and smashed them together. I call it the smash te technique. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I don't want any of the white bits, I'm moving it around trying to cover up those little white bits. And yeah, but if you like the white bits, hey, by all means, leave the white bits. So um, yeah, pretty quick, easy background. And I'll be drying it with the heat gun. Just any minute now. Or not, I may not even show you. Oh, we'll just skip right on up to our little dies. Uh, these are Spellbinders Shape Abilities Die Delights Blooms 1. And uh, I call these the little wish flower stuff. I use some leftover Christmas uh, bits of scrap card, uh, you know, scrapbook card stock, whatever. It's a happy holidays yo 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 whatever it said and I used that to uh, cut out these wish flowers it gave, gave, a, gave a, a nice uh, texture that's the girl we'll be painting here in a little bit and I was just checking for placement because I didn't necessarily want to put wish flowers behind her I kind of want them to meld through her so here we are we're going to use this super fine liner that you find uh, the bottle you find in the Hobby Lobby on the model, model car slash train aisle take coupon y'all take coupon and I'm just gonna glue on my little wish flowers they're just free flying they're they're not gonna be on stems they're just free flying through through the air cuz uh, it's a breezy day oh um musical energy musical so I'm going to uh, trim up that up because I had it kind of hanging off the page just a little bit. Well, that's what you do when you have a little wonky cut. You know, it didn't come out so well. You just hang that off the page and cut it off pretty good. There, I was showing you that that was that fine liner. And uh, let's see, I got them all glued on. I ended up uh, die cutting a bunch more because I wanted more. And this is some studio... Claudine Helma Studio Extra Time Slow Dry Medium. It's a uh, thick kind of pasty. I don't think I'm going to use it again on uh, on the, the underpainting for the face. I really like the Anita's, the thinness, uh, watery consistency of the Anita's for this particular part. Now on canvases, this Claudine Helma stuff, yeah. That's a thumbs up, people. Just a thumbs up is all I can tell you. So uh, there I am, putting some darks on, underpainting. And uh, yeah, y'all have seen me do this a couple times. Which means you'll probably see me do it a few more times. So I'm just using some of that leftover uh, paint to smear around for darkness of the hair because I really by that time I still didn't know what color hair I was going to get for this chica and there's my uh, skin tone I don't know what that clicking sound was but we'll just ignore it and pretend like it wasn't even there what? nothing I ain't hearing nothing so there I'm just going to be painting just kind of regular like uh, although on the video, I am so fast. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, actually, the whole page probably took me two hours. Maybe, yeah. Probably about two hours. I took some breaks. Mm-hmm. Because that's what you do when you drink a lot of water. 
Musical I wish I knew a Valentine's song. Uh, I guess any love song is a Valentine's song, isn't it? And you guys will probably be seeing this before Valentine's Day. Probably. And, uh, the art opening went spectacular. Thank you so much for coming. It was good to see everyone. I mean that. Thank you. So, uh, here we go, putting in the whites of her eyes. She's, she's a little tiny thing, I tell you what. She can't be more than, I don't know, a couple of inches. Her face maybe a couple of inches tall. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Did you just yawn right behind me? Because, yeah, it's kind of contagious. <laughs> Let's take a nap. Johnny says I don't snore. <laughs> if you believe that, I got a bridge, I'll tell you. Well, I don't know where a bridge is. Well, we have San, uh, San, San Jacinto bridges. We have a lot of those. Anyway, I just put uh, the cheeks on. Now, I did really like the uh, Claudine Helmet Studio Extra Time Slow Dry Medium. Boy, that's a mouthful, isn't it? I used that uh, for her pinky cheeks, and I loved how that looked. Loved that. So I'll probably use it for, for cheekies. And there I am. Uh, I think that's a liner brush with a dark brown, probably, probably burnt umber. And I'm outlining her eyes. Oh, sorry about the Band-Aid, y'all had a boxing incident accident same difference and uh, yeah now I'm smearing out some of the uh, the the darker brown kind of adding it into some shading it's pretty hard to see on my video I hope you guys can see it so and now I'm going to put on some lip color and I end up painting her lips red, but I really do like to put on the, the a lip color before I add lipstick, if I add lipstick, because sometimes I don't always do that. But it's a Valentine's page, y'all, so she needed to have kissable red lips. So um, that's what she's going to get. She got pretty lips. Kissable, even. Mwah. Mwah. I bet the dogs would have came if they'd been in the studio, but they're not out here right now. I, I put them out to go play. They're being awful quiet, which means they're probably digging a hoe. Digging a hoe in the yard. Yep. I'm happy with her. No I'm actually happy with the whole everything about this chick. She doesn't have an ear. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but no ear for her. She's really teeny tiny ears are real tight, flat to her head. See, that's why you can't see them. Okay? Mm -hmm. And there was my uh, doing the eyes, and you, you go around the outside of the iris with a uh, your darkest color of whatever iris you go on. These are going for brown. And then I used a, uh, a light brown to add the uh, little light lines and then I went back in with a little bit of dark again and here comes the pupil but see it's kind of like my eyes once you get that pupil in there because my pupil is big and I tend to make every, my faces with big pupils once I get that in there you can't hardly even tell it's brown anymore but it is well in real life you can tell it's just not on the video so now I use that Anita's and uh, some black acrylic paint because I really want watery um, a very very watery yeah uh, consistency to uh to put on uh eyeliner of sorts and teeny tiny eyelashes that you cannot see in the video i'm sure of it and i'm pretty sure you can't see them in the photograph i took at the end <sighs> 
hope you're not bored. Anyway, uh, sorry about that. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. So now we're adding out lights to her eyes. And uh, I wanted to, uh, my line just a little bit thinner, so I cleaned my brush off. And uh, I have a damp brush now, not watery, damp. You want to make sure you don't drop uh, blobs of drops of water on there. I'm just kind of thinning them out and brushing them out just a little bit. Turn her upside down because she likes being upside down. It tickles her tummy. It tickles her tummy. And I think I had those about done. Her hair came out okay this time too. I fussed with it. It ended up darker than what I wanted. I wanted like a medium brown and it, it got pretty dark. It's some red in it. I never did paint eyebrows on her because I liked the look of that, of the way her eyebrow look in here. So, eyebrow look in here. Boy, that's some, um, yeah, I don't know what kind of language that was. Anyway, I, I liked the way her eyebrows looked with just that simple undercoating of the dark. Yeah. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So that's the, the leftover black from lining in her eyes and then little teeny tiny eyelashes. I'm just smishing it around in her hair. Well, I had it. I might as well used it. It wasn't really going to be enough for much else or anything else anyway. You'll see she has no clothes on. I tend to draw my faces with no clothes on. I heard Effie Wild uh, talk about it one time that, that she's discovered that it's a vulnerability issue. And you know what? When she said that, I, I have to agree with her. Yeah. And besides, you know, in the spirit world, we don't got no clothes on anyway. We're all just light. Little beings of light, flittering around, just as happy as can be, hanging out with God. Oh, hallelujah. So anyway, I put some uh, little hairs coming across her face because it's windy. Remember, I told y'all it was a windy day. We got those witch flowers all blowing around and her hair is blowing around. So, uh, yeah. And I know that the left side of her is uh, straight, but we'll all take care of that with the scissors. And here comes the brown for her hair. Did that sound like shake and bike and a hayot, higher, hayot? So anyway, I'm just adding uh, different layers and different colors. And uh, in a moment, I will be breaking out my colored pencils, Prismacolors. And uh, uh, that started out with black. And I used like, I don't know, three, four different uh, browns, red brown, a regular dark brown, dark chocolate brown. I think it was anyway. So, yeah. Just put it in like hair strokes. I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to hair, y'all. I just totally fake it. Y'all notice I don't really do my hair. I just run my fingers through it, too. So, because that's what I do. You'd never know. I used to be a hairdresser, would you? Mm hmm. I used to roll people's hair on rollers. And I would blow dry their hair sometimes and use curling irons, those fancy Marcel curling irons. You know, you didn't have a spring on them. You had to click, 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 work it with your hand. That's pretty good at it. I just didn't have the kind of personality then. I wasn't chatty. Some people might think I'm chatty now. Musical interlude. Musical, 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 musical. Oh, uh, when y'all wasn't looking, because you blinked real fast. I put, uh, once I got her face all like the way I liked it, I put matte medium on her. I put two to three coats of, uh, thin coats of matte medium. So if I messed up, I could wipe it off pretty quick. And uh, the pencil erases very well off the matte medium. It will not do that off of, oh, and I am using watercolor paper as well. And uh, you really can't erase pencil off of watercolor paper so well. 
Teen White. There is some white. I'm just kind of blending it around. And here comes the brown pencil. That brown pencil, the lid was wonky in there. So I ended up zapping it in the microwave for like uh, 30 seconds. And 30 seconds is too long. Okay? Because the paint on the outside of the pencil kind of bubbled. So if you do that, just, just go like 10 seconds. Check. And then maybe 10 seconds. Check. Or maybe just do 10 seconds and leave it alone. But don't do 30. So, uh, oh, and here's some French uh, poetry book paper that I have. And there you can see I, I cut her hair out and I made, you know, loose bits of hair with the scissors, just cut in different ways. And uh, I got the uh, book paper wet and I put on some pale pink acrylic craft paint. And there I'm kind of measuring out to see. Here you come, Paula. Now I have her turned around. So I can get her more or less like she is. So I can trim out the pink. See, you can't even see it pink. And uh, now we're going to draw a neckline. Oh, you can see my hair. Ha! Ah. So there's my little neckline. I'm trying to top on for size. And are we happy with it? Yeah. Oh, look at that fancy ring. Mm -mm -mm. I love that fancy ring, too. It's just for show, people. It's not real. So I'm using matte medium to put her shirt dress top on. And it, it just wasn't dark enough. It was just too pale and just kind of washed out. So I'm going to use this, uh, I don't know what that color is called. It's a silk, though. Now, remember, silks bleed. They'll bleed up through your your gesso and they will bleed up through your matte medium that you put on top as well. So I ended up putting like um, three pretty heavy coats of matte medium on there to keep that color in. This is a love bug dye. It's uh, also uh, oh, it's Elizabeth Craft Designs and it's called Ladybug not love bug. Ladybug. So I punched out some of those or die cut some of those. I didn't really punch them. And then we, we're going to glue them together like we did the uh, the dragonfly. Y'all remember that from a while back? So, and then you just glue it on there. And ta-da! It's a ladybug. I don't know why I want to call it a love bug. Oh, well. Because in this page, it represents love, okay? All right, y'all. So here we are, we're gluing it on, and yeah, the camera didn't get zoomed out, so you really can't see the page. And you can't see even where I'm sticking that dear ladybug. You know, Dee Dee showed me, taught, taught us how to draw ladybugs, so I've drawn them too. And they're not too bad, I'm pretty happy with them. And there she is, and now I'm going around uh, the witch flower and uh, the girl. I don't know why she's not named. And uh, with um, a Stabilo all pencil, they're water soluble, pretty dark. I like them, and that's a water brush I'm using. I'm just actually touching it to the uh, to the pencil lead there and going around. And yes, she's a pocket. Her head is a pocket. No, her name's not Polly because she's not a Polly pocket. There we go. We zoom out a little bit. And y'all going to see me go around, I, and, yeah, you're not going to see me go around every one of them. But I did go around every single one of them, every stinking one of them. And, uh, but I don't show you because that's just too tedious. And we'd all be yawning all over the place and taking naps. Jean, wake up. So, uh, yeah, we got the ladybugs flying around and the wish flowers are flying around. Look. There's the finished page. See, I even signed it. And see, there's the pocket. Got my little private journaling on there. Secret. Like a handshake. There she is on a close-up. Here comes a ladybug on a close-up. And here's the page. Zoom it in. And I turned her into a Valentine's greeting card. Woohoo! 
lottery draw and winners. And that, uh, their roller brayer with the hearts on it was given to me by the Scratch Chick. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Colleen. And I used that on the outside of the envelopes with the archival, red archival ink that you saw. I scanned my page, printed it out on our new printer, which I like. It's an Epson and the colors are great. And that hand was cut from the silhouette and I painted the little uh, heart inside the hand with a uh, red wash, craft paint wash, and glued it all in there. And now I'm smashing that card fold over. And uh, I think that's going to wrap it up, y'all. I really do like this greeting card lottery thing. Did I mention that before? Oh, well. You'll hear it again. And if you're not playing, please start playing along with the 29 faces in February check my blog. Thanks for watching and happy arting y'all.